Hi, and welcome to another video from Simply Social Quick Tip Tutorials. I'm your host, Toya Smith, and today we are going to be talking about how to use PageMoto to create a new Facebook cover photo. If you spend any time inside Facebook, you notice that some Facebook fan pages have really nice and professional looking cover photos. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to get one of those for your Facebook fan page for free using one of my favorite tools, PageMoto. So we're already in this particular PageMoto account, which is the free account. And as you can see, I already have a cover photo created that I've used before in a couple of months ago. So I'm just gonna hover over and edit the cover photo so I can show you all of the great options you have in terms of creating cover photos within PageMoto. So as we wait for that to come up, you will see that you can either start from scratch and include your own pictures in one of these first five templates, or you can actually use a template that PageMoto has already created for you and just add your own images. I find it's much easier, especially to save on time, to use one of the templates that already have pictures in it. That way you just replace the pictures or you keep the pictures and replace the text. As you can see in my cover photo, I actually kept the picture and the fonts and just replaced the text. So right now, all I want to do is simply click on the Attention Spring Brides text box because this is for my Facebook fan page, Targeting Brides, so Destination Wedding Fan Page. And I'm just gonna delete Spring Brides and I think I'm gonna just say 2014 Brides. That way I don't have to change it again for the rest of the year if I don't want to. One other change that I want to add is I just want the colon behind promo code. I don't know. I try to be grammatically correct when I'm thinking about it. So now I'm going to hover my cursor over publish and just check out what the cover photo is going to look like when it's actually uploaded to Facebook. And as you can see, one of the problems that we have is that the profile photo, which you cannot change the position of, by the way, is slightly over the word download. So we need to correct that. It's going to be really easy to do because I'm just going to put my cursor in the text box for the Attention 2014 Brides. And as you can see, I can move it anywhere inside the cover photo. So I'm gonna move it all the way to the top, which then will allow me to move Download Your Six Week Planning Guides text box up just slightly. And then I'm just gonna move promo code happy because I want people to make sure that they see that. So what now I want to do is I want to know what it looks like. And voila, the cover photo or the profile photo, I should say, is not getting in the way of my text on my new cover photo, which is great. The flowers pop, the yellow looks nice against the pink, and the white stands out. So I think we're good to go. If you are satisfied with your cover photo after you've created it inside of PageMoto, all you have to do is click the tap or the button publish. It will then show you what it looks like inside of Facebook. Now, one of the things that I really don't like that PageMoto has started to do is put their made with PageMoto symbol at the bottom right hand side. And I do not like that at all. To get rid of that watermark, you do have to upgrade to a premium account, which again, as I said before, is going to be $6 um, starting a month, $6 and some change. Or you can just publish it to your fan page and keep the little symbol or watermark there. That's up to you. Depending on how many fans I have, how professional my fan page is, I sometimes will uh upgrade to an account and I do have a paid page model account as well. So make that decision for yourself. If 
you're interested in using PageMoto, then check out some of my other videos about how to curate content right inside of PageMoto for your Facebook fan page, as well as how to create really engaging posts with PageMoto for free. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in another video.